I started a little fitness company when I was a junior in college. It's very successful now, and um, it's about tripled in size. And um, my journalism degree has actually helped me a lot in that because I do a lot of PR for my company. Like I send out press releases to like the Stranger and Capitol Hill blog and little places like that. I think it's absolutely amazingly important for students to travel travel abroad. Um, it helps out a ton when you're dealing with other people as far as dealing with different cultures. Like, I've traveled quite a bit and um, I know how to kind of adapt myself to other cultures, but when you're working in a pro professional capacity um, in your travels, it's a little bit different because you're trying to get information out of people, you're trying to um, make people trust you, and so you're having to work with them on a different kind of level. Um, and I think that that helps anybody in any career do anything. Organizations such as these make sure that people that are detained are able to have resources to be able to get out of jail or to at least not be tortured anymore. I would definitely recommend this to any student no matter what you're studying just because it could translate to any aspect of your life in the future. And our state recently passed a bill to restructure the 520 bridge at a cost of $3.9 billion. Three a lot of students, I think, from my experience, just hearing other students talk, they think that, oh, it's so scary and I would never take that class. And I was actually one of those students freshman year when I came here and saw the people in the class talking on Red Square. I'd be like, no way, I would never, ever do that. But here I am, three and a half years later, taking the class because I've heard so many great things about it. And all in all, at the end of the day, cutting this program will threaten us all as a community. The program over the years, uh, I counted up to four Pulitzer Prize winners. Now, would they have won a Pulitzer Prize regardless of this? Probably. But it was just the way of selecting out the students who really took it seriously, who wanted to do hard news and who wanted to do uh, government and politics and all those things. Well, it's important for the UW to offer um, these kinds of internships because the best way to become a better journalist is to get practice, and the best kind of practice you can get is in the real world, um, working for real newspapers, having real deadlines, and working for editors that really know the business. A lot of people have told me that um, you know, once you can cover politics, you can cover anything. Being down here in Olympia, I think, uh, really uh, kind of gets me a step ahead. These programs are so meaningful. They really put journalism students where they need to be in the action, actually doing the job so that they know, yes, this is something that I want to pursue even in such a turbulent time in the media industry. Journalism isn't just theory, it's practice. And that's what that funding really goes to. If we didn't have these kinds of scholarships and opportunities for students like these, then what you'd be doing is denying the world uh, good stories. But more importantly, you'd be denying an ambitious uh, reporter the opportunity to really show his or her stuff to really shine. So if you don't have a program like this, then it's devastating in the long term to journalism. And having scholarships and opportunities like this is a real investment in good journalism down the road.